Hello, and welcome to the course introduction for PCI Express. This is actually an overview of PCI Express. For more complete information on PCI Express, please visit gogo.com for the entire course modules. My name is Pamela Frenzy, and I will be presenting this course. We're going to look a little bit at the course description. And at any time during this presentation, if you have any questions or comments, please be sure to use the question and comment section located on gogo.com. We're going to look at the overview. This is actually just an overview. It's basically useful for design engineers, testing and manufacturing engineers, and validation engineers in order to determine what PCI Express is from an overview standpoint and maybe see if PCI Express is an application that you're going to be using. We'll look at a brief discussion of the architecture. We'll look at the history. We'll look at the different layers in PCI Express. We'll also look at virtualization and virtualization is not new to PCI Express, but we'll look at how PCI Express envisions virtualization. As a result of this training, you'll, you should be able to explain PCI Express from a brief overview standpoint. You should be able to understand the layers in the architecture and discuss those layers in the architecture and what they mean and what each layer is required to do. You should be able to describe the flow control and how flow control is handled in PCI Express. You should understand the traffic prioritization in PCI Express, how it provides differentiated services to devices depending upon how your devices are designed. Now, you, of course, prerequisites. Basically, you need to have a good understanding of PCI. It's desired, but not necessarily necessary. PCI Express is backward compatible to PCI. So it's not really required to understand, but it does help you as we go through the different topics in PCI Express. Now the course topics that we're gonna look at, we're gonna look at the evolution of PCI, again, very briefly. Then we're going to look at the architectural overview of Express. Look at the big picture so that you have an idea of what components make up the Express architecture. We'll look at then the transaction layer in PCI Express, the data link layer in PCI Express, the physical layer in PCI Express. So the three layers in PCI Express are the three layers that make up PCI Express are the transaction layer, which is at the top of PCI Express, the data link layer, and then finally the phi. And we'll look at those layers, not in a lot of detail. Again, if you need a lot of detail of that, you need to go to our full course on PCI Express. We'll look at virtual channels. Virtual channels are the mechanism in PCI Express to prioritize data to give differentiated services or quality of services, whichever term you want to use. And then we'll look at the overview of virtualization. What does virtualization mean in context, but then how does virtualization relate to PCI Express? During the presentation, at any time, if you have any questions, please be sure to use the question and comment box located on gogo.com. Lab exercises can be downloaded from the paperclip link. So let's get started. 